dear audience, uh, as was 2015, also 2016 uh, is a very, very difficult year for Estonia, uh, for Europe, for the whole world in terms of foreign politics. And just a couple of uh, examples. Uh, around two years ago, Crimea was occupied and, and war started in eastern Ukraine. So basically one country decided to violate the security architecture based on the principles and rules of international law. It is our duty to raise our voice here and guarantee that the legal annexation of Crimea will never be internationally recognized. Just as the occupation of the Baltic countries by the Soviet Union was never internationally recognized. The sanctions imposed on Russia, parallelly by Europe and US, carry a message that international law applies to all of the countries and there is a price to pay for violating it. Another challenge, migration. Europe is facing the biggest migration crisis at the moment. And statistics show that only 50% of, uh, of uh, people escaping from Syrian war make it alive to the shores of Europe. Another 50% sink, including a lot of innocent, innocent children, because their ships are often overcrowded. I have, uh, as my former uh, post was uh, foreign policy advisor to the foreign minister, uh, one of my last trips before coming to Washington was uh, going to uh, visiting, uh, going to Italy, visiting a small island of uh, Lampedusa. This is a place where uh, 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 most of uh, uh, Syrian refugees enter Europe first. They have a refugee camp there. Uh, it was uh, really a terrifying and emotionally very difficult experience. I saw with my own eyes bodies of young kids being identified by doctors uh, on the shores of uh, Lampedusa uh, uh, because they, uh, they, uh, they, had, uh, they, they couldn't make it alive to Europe. So uh, to conclude on migration, we firmly believe in Estonia that uh, Countries have to show solidarity here uh, when providing help to, to refugees. Uh, and this solidarity, it cannot be just an empty thought, it uh, has to have a substance in it. Uh, dear fellow Estonians and friends of Estonia, these discussions uh, that I just uh, uh, stressed on uh, about the NATO summit preparation, security policy, Russia's aggressive foreign policy, migration, and many other topics. They have most probably already reached to you through different uh, channels. We hope that as Estonians and friends of Estonia living in the US, you could really help us in carrying our messages to the US decision makers. Just like during the years of occupation, when your role in gaining back our independence was indispensable. We also need your help now.